Hey there and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be breaking down a great ranged DPS build that all solo players can use and benefit from. This will help you make millions of silvers in no time. I'm talking about the light crossbow. You would do great in both PVE and PVP. You can quickly burst down groups of mobs, kill empowered mobs, defeat the higher tier mobs in the roads, and you'll do very well in solo and small scale PVP. We will break down which items you can use, which abilities to take, and how to maximize your damage. Some abilities will be situational, so we'll go over all these in detail. Now, before we get into the video, make sure to join the Discord and become part of the community. We have players from both the East and West servers. Also, follow me on kick.com slash Donny956, where I can stream every day from 11 a.m. UTC to 5 p.m. UTC, except for Saturdays. We have giveaways every 30 minutes. Now, without further ado, let's get into the breakdown. For your helmet, you'll go with Hunter's Hood, even after the most recent nerfs, bringing down Retaliate's Reflect to only 3 seconds, it still does well. You'll use it to reflect incoming burst damage. For your passive, you will take Balanced Mind for the increased damage. Now if you don't plan on doing any PvP, you can go with the Cultist Cowl and take Inner Corruption, which does a large amount of damage to mobs over a 4 second window. For your passive, you will go with Degression for the 3.5% increased damage. For your armor piece, we will go with the Cleric Robe. Using Cloth Armor will increase your damage drastically, making it much easier to kill mobs and other players. For your R ability, you will go with the Everlasting Spirit. This will increase your damage by 20% and make you immune to all incoming damage for 3 seconds. It is very important that you use this wisely as you can easily immune heavy damage. Now for your passive, you will go with Aggression for the increased 8% damage. When it comes to your Light Crossbow, for your Q, I recommend going with Explosive Bolt. This will do a large chunk of damage to all enemies within a 3 meter radius and only has a 1.75 second cooldown. For your W, I recommend taking Caltrops for the most part. These are traps that you will shoot on the ground which will slow all of your enemies by 30% and last over 4 seconds. It also deals a small amount of damage and increases your movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds. This is a great way to either kite or chase your opponent down by controlling the range of the fight. If you find yourself fighting a healer or caster, you can also go with Noisy Racer, which will silence your enemies for 5.55 seconds and deal 446 physical damage. Doing this at the right time is crucial as it can put out a lot of pressure. Now your E is Explosive Shot and it does just that. You place a sticky bomb on your opponent dealing damage and after 2 seconds it will explode and deal a huge amount of damage to all enemies within 5 meters. The great thing about this ability is that it cannot be reflected. Now I love using this ability to put a lot of pressure out on an enemy or a small group of enemies as well as rounding up mobs and AOEing them down with the explosion. For your passive I recommend taking well prepared. After every 4 spells you will reset your cooldown for your first ability also known as your Q ability. This is huge since you'll be able to get a huge amount of burst with the correct rotation. We'll talk about the rotation a bit later in the video. Now for your offhand, I recommend taking Mist Caller for the cooldown modifier, allowing you to get more burst damage out faster. Your boots will be Soldier Boots. You will receive the increased defense from your passive toughness. I also recommend using Rejuvenating Sprint while killing mobs for the extra heal. If you are looking to kill players and chase them down, go with the Wanderlust for the increased mobility. Now for your cape, I recommend taking the Carleon Cape, which gives you the ability Opportunist. This will activate when you cast your weapon's first slot ability. It will reset your cooldown for that ability. This means that you'll be able to get two instant explosive bolts increasing your burst damage. Now we've gone over which items and abilities you will take in this build. Let's take a moment to talk about a rotation. When fighting mobs or enemy players, I recommend opening up with your W ability since this trap will slow your enemy and increase your speed. It will allow you to kite and dictate the fight. Once you shoot your W, follow up with your E exploding shot by placing the bomb on your opponent. Now here comes the fun part. You will then use your Q explosive bolts to instantly do AoE damage. This will proc your cape, which will give you a second explosive bolt. Once you use the second explosive bolt, you will proc your light crossbow's passive, which resets your Q once more. So you will quickly get three explosive bolts out, which will do a huge amount of damage. And around that same time, your E's explosive shot will go off. This is a great way to delete your enemies. However, if they are not dead, keep using your W to kite and repeat the rotation as your cooldowns are not long at all. Now this build is very fun, it brings huge damage and burst, it isn't complicated to play and is one of the more fun crossbow weapons to use. I'm more than confident that you'll benefit from this build. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Albin Online content. If you would like to catch me live, I stream 6 days out of the week on kick.com slash donny956 from 6am central time to 12 noon, that is 11am UTC to 5pm UTC. Make sure to stop by and say hello.